We're on Facebook. Thank you to our registered okay. viewers as well. Back. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Are you calling me? I don't, I don't know who I just hung up on. Hi. We're back. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> I hang up on you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is awesome. So, yay. Reset, rewind. I don't know where we left off, but folks, you are watching Creative Conversations. If you don't get cut off, if you do, jump back on. That's kind of how we roll here. Facebook has been changing a few things, and we are rolling with it. I was just in the process of telling you ISSE is virtual. I just gave you my code to get $5 off. So the, the event is March uh, 14th and 16th. You're not gonna get uh, just a discount to my classes. You're gonna get a discount to see all 80 different shows and classes and events. My code is MSC5. If you wanna put that in, MSC5, get your code in there. Oh, the sirens now, awesome. Um, so you can see the entire show by putting that code, go to probeauty.org forward slash I S S E. Ah, <sighs> so, and finally, if you're wanting to see Naha live, it's not a part of I S S E because we want it to be a live production and we are sticking to it. So you can see all this extraordinary work in person to catch that. You got to come to Cosmo Prof. So grab your little dresses, grab your heels guys too and come on down to Las Vegas. Cosmo Prof will be August 29th. Tickets go on sale soon, unless they're on sale already, then we can put that in the chat box. Get there and see us live on stage. Okay, so now I am going to get to our very special guest. This individual has been entering Naha in the makeup category. This is the work you are seeing in front of you here since its inception with four nominations and one win and a lot of hope that this collection will take him to a win as well. An accomplished makeup artist, even though he's still quite young, very accomplished in the world of makeup um, and in all aspects. So he can share with us fashion, video and print production as well. Comes from a very diverse background in Mexico City where he brings natural life to every subject he's working on, regardless of their ethnicity. Uh, he just loves every face and it really shows in his work. This man has entered, are you ready for this? 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21, eight times. If any of us are like complaining, shh, shh, no barking, sorry, I'm a new dog. So <laughs> it's entered all of these years. And without further ado, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna look at these collections and we're gonna pick this creative genius brain. Please welcome to the show, Isidro Valencia. Hello, sir, turn on your camera, yay. Yeah. <laughs> I should be clapping yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope uh, the audience is, uh, yes. Uh, by the way, we're, we're having whiskey. Well, my is real whiskey. Cheers. So cheers, and th thank you for the invite though. Cheers, it's such a pleasure. I will first have a toast. And if you haven't watched any of our creative conversations, folks, we encourage everyone to grab a cocktail or a mocktail and join us for the conversation. And if you wanna join us for the conversation, that is simply type in the chat box. Now, if you're a troller, I want you to just get out of here and go home right now. But if you do have a good question and you would like to share that with us and you wanna pick this creative genius's brain, get them out there. So Isidro, you are a native of Mexico and you know, you, you, you work with these bright colors, you know, you're, you're clearly there was some fascination to fashion and creativity and art from the beginning. So let's talk about little Isidro. What, what were you like as a kid? I can only imagine. <laughs> well, um, first of all, I'm fascinated from, um, my culture and 
I'm really proud of all my heritage. But as a kid, I was very uh, very hyper. I was very happy and just like I am. So I feel like I never lose that as a kid. And as you see, you can see um, all the craziness through the photos. But I have a shy side when I was a kid, but I lost it. But um, I was a happy kid. And, you know, being uh, from Mexico, it can be rough sometimes when you're a kid. Yeah. But um, work it out too very well. <laughs> As, and we're so glad you're here. So we talked about childhood a little bit. Tell me, how did how did all roads lead to makeup? How did you end up a makeup artist? Well, that's, well, I moved here uh, to Indiana, Louisville side. So when I moved here, you know, it's really hard when you have don't have friends and you move to another state. I'll so be your friend. I'm your friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I saw like a makeup curse in the newspaper and I was saying the rest is history. And I'm like, okay. I started as a hobby and I, I never thought that um, I could be good with makeup. And after that, I was like, I have the basic training. Why not push my skills to see how far I can go? And I'm really proud of that. So yeah. I'm nominated for NAHA again after so many years. <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy. Though. What is your favorite um, makeup to do? I mean, as a hairdresser, there's such joy in doing makeup for a wedding, for example. But it's a lot of work and bridesmaids are crazy. You know, no. uh, right? <laughs> Sorry to all the bridesmaids out there. You know, and then there's editorial, and that's fun and exciting. What what motivates you the most? What or well, which motivate you the most? Well, the thing that you see something very important: uh, weddings and all the stuff. It's a commercial work. Sometimes is what gives you the money, right? And yeah. sometimes people don't appreciate art very well. But I was like, something that motivates me is the color, the craziness, and most important to me is that um, I can create. And I can be wild, I can be bold without any expectations though. So I'm like, go for it. But yeah. every time that I color and texture, it's, it's my motivation and my own culture is what I say is Mexico is rich in culture and bold in colors and we're loud with crazy, with colorful. <laughs> I was I trying to it. look nice today because you were black, but I love color. <laughs> I love color and I love textures though. Yes. Well, and don't look at me. I have, I wear, so it's, it's very specific with me from October until um, March, I wear a black turtleneck. And then from March through September, I wear a black t-shirt. So I'm super creative with my clothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a Steve Jobs. <laughs> well, like the first time that I was nominated, actually, when I entered to that room in, uh, in Las Vegas, I was like, oh, I'm glad that I wear black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, because everybody's a black. Yes, <laughs> but, but no, you, I love bold colors, though. And yeah. every time that I create something colorful and technical, that makes me happy. Yeah. I mean, so, and, and I'm going to get into all those Naha looks, and we're going to break them down, and we're going to talk about exactly what you did. But you have a quote that lives online that I just thought was so beautiful, so I'm going to read it. A person's face is not something to be patched and spot-touched but rather it is a unique canvas on which to create a one of a kind piece of art. Tell me more about this. Well, the thing is, I believe we all are beautiful and most women are beautiful, but sometimes we are not confident enough to show that beauty. It doesn't matter you wear makeup. So a face, like what you say, a face not, 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 doesn't need to be patched. So a little bit can go farther. And that quote is more about its self-esteem that make you feel better and don't be afraid to do things off. So yeah. and we all we all can do it. So don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid. Just love yourself. You know, I, yeah. I do a lot of interviews and, and people keep asking me, what is the trend this year? And I'm like, yes. They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, everything is okay. It's about loving yourself. We're Yes, We're breaking out of the box, right? Of like, yes, this is why, what you must do. <laughs> it's why I, I I create that quote because everything, to me, all the beauty is inside us. So, yeah. And, yeah. I'm just so you happy. Can see it. You can people. see it. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy to see people love, love themselves. It's, it's, 
quite incredible. So let's get to the Naha stuff because everybody watching is a Naha oh. fan or or someone who wants to enter and is nervous about it. So we're going to take the guesswork out of it. We're going to lower the curtain. We're going to talk to the wizard of makeup. First of all, what inspired you to enter Naha? What what drew you to Naha? Well, first of all, I work a lot with the great uh, hairdressers, photographers, and Matthew Tisley was the person that was like, let's do it, let's do it. But Naha is a great platform to let us showcase our artistry. Mm -hmm. So we're like, why not? And it's the most prestigious uh, show there. You know that. Yeah. Fact, I was like, yeah. why not? I know it's hard, but um, my mental, like my mentality is like, if I get it great, even though know, I'm going to keep trying. And I tried two times before the first nomination and it was great. It is a great, uh, as I repeat, a great platform to let us showcase our art. And I did it and it has been uh, paying off very well. I mean, you, you literally have done it. I wasn't kidding, folks. Four <laughs> nominations, one win. He is definitely in contention for a win this yeah, year. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, you, you, we had these up. So this is your current nominated work. Tell us about your inspiration here. Well, the, um, I was inspired. I have a lot of ideas for this collection. And be honest, I'm not going to lie. I almost didn't create the collection. I did the first photo, actually, with the orange lips. And my husband got caught. And I didn't want to mention because it was like, this uh, negativity oh, things sorry. that we live in. No, mention it. That's life, dude. Yes, that's, I know. that's life. I thought, yeah. No, yeah, but I was like, I don't want to be so negative. So I was not bring the colors and everything. And I was inspired by textures and all these uh, colorful streets in Mexico. And then I was like, I'm going to cancel. So, but I was like, after the first photo, I got the strength to keep doing them. And I was like, I don't know what to do after the first photo because I have to be like it's better like after the first photo was strong i was like okay okay then my photographer almost killed me because i didn't have time but i was inspired most of bring something happy and um create textures and um create something like a light portrait and something messy that represents more my lifestyle right now <laughs> and yeah i love color as i said Wait. Did you did you say so? Who's the model? The model is myself. You. These yes. are like okay. It's I why I use, it's why I use so much makeup. <laughs> this is like some serious Van Gogh, and you say Van Gogh. The Dutch say not Van Gogh. Van Gogh yeah. This is no. truly Van Gogh self portrait here. This is. Stunning, incredible. I was trying to go, thank you. I was trying to go for that, like a real life portrait of myself. But with all them as we were living, I was like, I couldn't find her dress, her models. I was like, okay, I would do it. I would do it. <laughs> Let's talk technique. How do you get, this looks like an oil painting come to life or a Van Gogh, as we've said, impressionistic. What, what are, what's your palette? What, what are the brands you're using? What, how do we get this kind of texture for those makeup artists who are watching us? And then we have some questions I'll get to in just a second. Oh my gosh, I use so much makeup. <laughs> <laughs> no, like a lot. I feel like I still have paint on my ears. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I use a lot of maroon makeup, uh, graphobia, and I use everything artistic that I couldn't find. My makeup kit is huge, but... um. I was focusing on my aesthetic and um, most of my work looks similar because it's my aesthetic and I was focusing more in technical um, work. So mm -hmm. I use a lot of uh, clay, like uh, the photo that I'm looking, well, to the right on uh, the computer, I mm -hmm. use clay on my beard and most of them have that touch of clay that I want, the illusion of crack makeup. I use gold leaf. Um, most of the three photos have um, the texture of because I was focusing more in technical work yeah. so, i use everything possible that I, my hands could touch them. <laughs> <laughs> everything is possible and it blends so perfectly together a couple questions um so many much love from eva romero chavez she loves your work and your pride of being a hispanic 
Uh, so, and, and I'm in Los Angeles, honey. We, we feel it. Hello from Juan Acevedo. Um, so much love coming uh, from... Uh, hola, to, hola to all of que hablan español. I can say that. Can you be there? <laughs> I say hi to all of them. Hola, hola. Um, greetings from the Pique, Micho. Oh, I'm going to butcher your name, but uh, Mario yes, Roca, yes. Alaveras. Uh, thank that's you. That's my hometown that I was born in uh, Mexico. Yes. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Tons of love on Facebook. Quick question. Um, are this individual, and I don't have her name, maybe we can get her name, living in the Midwest, how are you staying so creative and successful when many artists feel they need to live, you know, it's it's sort of a snobbery. You have to live in New York, LA, maybe Miami. Um, yeah. How are you doing this? Well, to me, fashion and creativity is not used in London, Tokyo, Paris, or New York. I have been doing great things in this city. And first of all, you have to trust yourself. You have to believe in yourself. And I feel like fear is the worst enemy of success. So I'm like, I don't have fear to try. Wow. And you have the basics to be creative. Why not? When I started here, people thought I was crazy. That That's right. But they, they thought I was too crazy. But I was like, I want to try what I want to create. So don't be afraid to try. And it's hard. Now with social media, everybody buy a pair of brushes and they're makeup artists, but it's hard. I haven't 10 years in the industry. <laughs> so, but it tries yourself and don't be afraid to try new things. Yeah, I mean, some of the biggest stars, I mean, um, one, of, one of my favorite uh, artists, I wanna say he was in like Indiana or North Dakota, Matthew Kentucky. Blank. Yeah, right. Ma Matthew Barney. He ended up giving being given the entire Guggenheim Museum. If if the art is pure, if the art is inside you, it really doesn't matter where you live. And I thank you for for, for yes. putting that forward because I think it's so important. It it really has never mattered. Francesca Rivetti, she's in Philadelphia, not known as a fashion hub, and yet there she is winning awards. Let's talk about 2016, which was a winning collection. Bravo, yeah. bravo. That the winner. First win. yeah. Let's talk about your inspiration here. I, I actually, actually, by those, uh, those photos, I was inspired by Jackson Pollock. Um, okay. And it was very personal because uh, I love Jackson Pollock. And he have, to me, abstract art is the main thing to show your emotions. And it, uh, abstract art is not perfect. So it helps us to go through to uh, our personal emotions. And I was dealing with some personal stuff and I was like, okay. I never thought that uh, that collection could be nominated. And yeah, I was inspired by Jackson Pollock and his emotion, like I actually, I was like, I feel a little bit like Jackson Pollock a little bit. And I tried to use his techniques. Yeah. So yeah. Did you My lay model on the floor? floor. You know, everything was on the floor with Jackson Pollock, right? <laughs> yes, actually, the the photo with the pink makeup, I laid down the guy, my model, because he hated me after nine um, nine hours and three showers. <laughs> I laid down him and I have to uh, throw the makeup, trying to use Jackson Pollock's techniques that he used to go like all streams around the paintings to kind of create the texture. And the I people know. thought he was crazy. And I was like, yes, me too. <laughs> And you know, I love, I love that from the very beginning, Isandro, you have been, you know, you've been gender fluid in what you're doing, right? And so, so, so many of the times, you know, the, the entries we get are strictly female and you've been blending it for years. To, what, how important is that to your collections? Uh, to me, very important because it's diversity. But I yep. went through, um, I went through, uh, by then, I went through all the photos by Naha, and I was like, I don't see many uh, males in the photos. I'm like, why not use all male? Uh, yeah. Well, I thought about to use different ones, but I'm like, no. And I want to create something androgynous because some people yeah. are like, is he a girl, is she a girl, or like, or like man. So I was like, I want to create matter? something interesting. <laughs> yeah, like people think about it. And it, it was, I think it was, I, one of the crazy ones uh, collections through the years for Naha, and I was very afraid. 
Hey, well, well, I got a great photographer and hairdresser, Matthew Tisley, though. So. I, I, I love this <laughs> collection. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Jose Tedanis is saying you're the best. Saludos. Uh, Victoria Lopez, she's so proud of you and she loves your work. Your work oh. is amazing. She Thanks. sends her love. We have a question from Mario Roca Alaveras. Oh, what? Lord, this is my best friend. Don't read Ah, it. your best friend. What do you do with your free time? I think he knows the answer. <laughs> we, go, we go to drink. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Truly Jackson Pollock <laughs> style. <laughs> yes. We're not that alcoholic yet, man. <laughs> no. Well, those were the ones worth the most money now. Most yes. worth the most money. So while we're here, because so much of your work and the work coming is, is what some people might see beyond traditional makeup, I have to ask you, because many people ask us this question, how do you make your work so, if you will, avant-garde, so creative, and yet not touch fantasy. Because fantasy to me is like applications and ears and you're some sort yeah. of space alien. And you wouldn't keep getting nominated, you wouldn't keep winning if it was fantasy because fantasy is not the rules, right? So tell us about that journey for you. Well, I don't wanna disgrace like the fantasy makeup to me is for parties, but I'm trying yeah. to create uh, my work looks more interesting. And as you say, I want to create something avant-garde without right. looking too cheesy or too cheap or too uh, beginner makeup. But yeah. um, it just try because some of the work like these, I'm afraid still to go so far like with the makeup. Because if you, I, I overdo it, it's going to look bad. Or if I leave it too simple, it's going to look fantasy. But no. I want to create avant-garde. I want to create art. Literally, I want to create art with makeup. Yeah, so. I love it. And thank you for that. And everybody appreciates this. But I know, we, you know, again, you've been entering since the very beginning. So, you know, you have, you've grown in this process. So speaking of I the have. beginning, let's go to the beginning. This is, this is when we first started really... You know, celebrating makeup within Naha 2014. This didn't get nominated. It certainly yeah. could have. Um, yeah, you about didn't put the makeup. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, robbed. <laughs> no, let's kidding. talk about this no, collection. Every collection is is it's different. So every collection is different. And and if you have a, a mentality. A strong mentality, you have to think, okay, I'm going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to be mad about it, or I'm not <laughs> going to be down about it. But this collection, I was inspired by the modern 20s, though. Yeah. And most of, I think most of the hair, Matthew Tisley has been doing it. He's another of my best friends. So um, I was inspired by the 20s, but I want to create something more modern. And as you see, I gain color. <laughs> yeah. Do you think <laughs> most of my photos are color? Do you think people should, uh, times are tough, money is tight, um, you know, due to so many things hitting the salon industry in one year. Do you think it's a good idea to work with a hairdresser and one does the makeup, one does the hair and enter for both? It depends, like how are things going? Um, like I did everything on my own because what we were living through. So I'm like, I didn't need makeup, so I was very strategic to cover my hair with makeup it's because I couldn't have a hairdresser. I'm telling you the secrets of my collection this year. But I think it just depends on regulations and why not? If we're safe and we be careful with what we're doing. Yeah, why not? Well, definitely, I think, and, and note to all of you, what we look for as judges is the hair complements the makeup hair. So totally, if you're yeah. going to involve hair, it has to really tell the story along with the makeup. And you need so, quality though, to do so. It all has oh. to be not hot quality. There can't yeah. be bad hair, because <laughs> it is the like, North American hair, hair Styling Awards. <laughs> going back to the fantasy, I was like, if I do a fantasy job, I'm never going to get nominated. I need quality and I need to step up. So, oh my gosh, I was inspired by the 80s. <laughs> I was born in the 80s, so with this collection, I was inspired about the 80s. This was yeah. all about 80s for you. Uh, and color. So, uh, 
<laughs> Alison Olamed says, exciting to see you. Great job. So what I like here on this one, it didn't get nominated, but the rest, I think pretty much all the rest have been nominated. In 2015, you entered and it's like, we're not concerned that it wasn't nominated because it was good enough to be nominated. Here, how important is the lighting to what you're shooting for those who are shooting their own collections? I think lighting is very important. And also one thing that I want to mention, communication with your team, though. So I think communication in a collaboration is the more, most important thing. So I was, uh, but lighting, it, it can be everything. So to me, it's everything in a photo. And most important, if I'm doing makeup, I don't want to yeah. have a harsh look on my photos and enter them. I know better than that. <laughs> <laughs> the lighting is everything. And I'm, I'm glad yeah. you... Talk about team. Is there a photographer you're using? Do you always use the same photographer? Or I've been using different photographers, and I think most of the time I'm using the same hairdresser. But I always give the chance to everybody, and I always try to keep it local. Okay. So give the chance to my local. Um, can we, can we have their names? Where yeah, it, it, Clay it, Cook. I have been working with Clay Cook, Goldsmith. Your goals meet. Uh, Hunter Douglas is my two th th 2001. Um, I need another whiskey. 2001. <laughs> That's 2021. What Keep the whiskey yeah, okay. coming. Doesn't the husband know? Yeah, maybe I go back to the 1800s. No, <laughs> no but uh, uh, Hunter Douglas did an amazing job this year. And I think he was about to kill me because our time frame was super tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and, Hunter... Uh, yeah, most of them. Uh, Jessica Butnick, I got nominated with the Clown Collection 2018. Yeah. Well, this is coming. So let's yeah. let's move on to 2017 because this oh. is magical. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, oh, uh, these photos, um, Robert, um, one of my friends did it, Jacob Roberts, and he did the first collection that I won with. Yes, okay. and I was inspired by uh, Picasso. Yeah. Okay, and so tell us about the inspir. Oh, this inspiration is Picasso. I was inspired by Picasso, my own creation. So, yeah. You're covering all the masters. I think what really stands out to me here is how. Don't say the glitter. No. <laughs> <laughs> glitter just has its own story, now doesn't it? Oh my God! Don't talk to me about glitter. For me, what I love is that it's coming out of complete darkness right into into the light and so Picasso had the darkness on his life so I was like I won't focus on in that yeah so hopefully we have the names of these photographers we're gonna ask you to do a little homework I'm gonna ask you to send all of these yeah. names to yeah, uh, Taylor he is amazing yeah so because All of them are crazy. really and we have uh lizbeth is sending her love matthew is sending oh his love they all love Hi, her. Also everybody. Love you. uh katia is also saying amazing work and she loves you so much rosa and mario as well mario says besides being <laughs> such a talented makeup artist you are a wonderful human being, and we couldn't oh, agree more. You. Let's talk about 2018. Uh, this was a collection I thought had a good chance of winning, certainly. Uh, talk to us about this is the clown shoot, I suppose. Yes, actually, you were talking about my childhood. I remember I used to be <laughs> so afraid to clowns, and I never forget middle school when I was in Mexico. I left, I left that show that they have clowns crying to my house. So I went back and, because clowns can be betrayed, you know what I mean? Or portray like the bad clowns or the good yeah. clowns, or the funny clowns, yeah. or, and you never know what's behind the mask. So it's why I create this clown collection. And I, again, I bring uh, the male figure in the middle photo that it was yeah. really hard to achieve that picture. When that up at 3 a.m. And I think drunk, maybe after, like, we <laughs> tried so I can feel the drunk energy, but I think it, it gave it this, like, edge yeah, to it, which is really nice. What, what intrigues me, 
the wigs. Who did the wigs for you? Matthew Tisley did the wigs. I'm going to mention Matthew Tisley because he does most of the hair for the photos. Matthew Tisley uh, created the wigs and um, he did all of them like from scratch. Like he's awesome. I love it. And particularly the middle wig. I think he has his own opportunity to enter Naha with work like this because wigs are allowed in many categories. So I think um, I think that's really cool. I think it's beautiful. For me- I'm really excited for that, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's such an intriguing, beautiful collection. Now, not, and by the way, we don't have many artists on that we can just go boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Boom, nominated again, again. I'm like Ariana Grande, oops, I'm nominated again. So let's <laughs> talk about 2019 here. <laughs> Yeah, I love this collection. I was inspired by the Winwood walls in Miami because I did a trip after that. So I was yeah. intrigued of the colors and the lines and the textures. But um, this collection, uh, Jessica Batnick did it. Actually, the same that did the Clown collection. She's uh -huh. amazing. Um, but yeah, I did this. I think it's the mo my most rushed collection that I have done. I think um, I got it one day before the, end, the closing deadline so but i love it though i still love this collection yeah for and me again, it, I my own model yeah yeah one of my favorites technique yeah sorry. yeah i love the emotion of it i love the lighting of this um and yeah again i think you just have the magic here and folks some might see this as fantasy, but it's really not. What he's doing is he is taking makeup into a higher art. And so really take notes here of what's happening, how there's inconsistencies, how it's not about symmetry, but rather balance uh, is what I yes. see here. So I try to create technique again. So I think I use clay and in some of them, I use the blow motion technique that you have to put a drop of paint and blow it with a straw that is kind of weird to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it it is great technique though. It's so good. <laughs> and any shout outs to brands that give you colors this uh, events? Yes, Mac, uh, Mac Pro, they have a great uh, uh, palette of uh, professional makeup for this kind of type. Uh, okay. Maroon, uh, Grafobian. There is a lot of brands that they focus on in this kind of creative uh, part that I'm glad because as you say, creating fantasy or, or uh, avant-garde in those yeah. years, we, we didn't used to have this kind of makeup. Like we yeah. couldn't find a click for the paint, the body. So I'm glad that these brands are creating these products that are more easy to use. And I start like mixing and stuff that I love to mix stuff though. I love to create my own mix up and yeah. stuff for the photos and what Everything is about technique oh, wow. and so aesthetic. Beautiful. So you. beautiful. Let's, I mean, literally, folks. So we, we, we <laughs> I get call. I right? guess we, with my own photo. <laughs> wait, I know. Wait, 2020. Where's 2020? 2020, you know what? I, I don't think I enter it. Okay, you didn't. So there's yes, one year yes, you missed. Yes. How dare yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, was, yeah I, seven times. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't think I did 2020. <laughs> my god wow have we been on a journey so what i'd like to do is um we have some questions that have come through in what ways have you stayed creative it's been a challenging year how have you been able to stay creative in the past year you know what actually i took last year as being positive and be creative i was busy um the first three four months i did a collection um, I did a collection actually inspired by last year, and I did 11 photos. I think I sent you guys those. Maybe you can see them later. But everything was about what happened last year. But I was trying to be more, like, focusing, be, keep my mind busy, and don't let, like, the negativity get me because I have anxiety. So yeah. as you see now, like, all those photos have a little bit of my anxiety. And, um, <laughs> but no, um. It affects me a little bit, but I think we have to be strong and we have to be cre creativity is a great thing to keep your mind busy, though. Like, I don't want to be uh, depressed and being in the hole and be down and down and down in that hole. So, like, I yeah. have to step up and do something about it. 
if I don't create makeup, let's read, let's have coffee, enjoy the coffee. Like I have a dog, so yeah, I think I faked me a little bit, but not like a hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think you have taken over Naha, like creative, beautiful, incredible talent from Mexico <laughs> has taken over the Oscars. Like I, I see a trend here, you know, Mexico, <laughs> like I, Careas, uh, uh, Mexico is my happy place of the world. Like you're my uh, best friend. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's so much creativity coming from Mexico. So, but we it's proudly okay. claim you as American, please. <laughs> yes. It's what I was trying to uh, show in some, uh, in some way, trying to like show a little bit of my heritage and I'm proud about yeah. it. So I'm like, yeah. We, we love it. Everything can be possible. I would like to ask you in general, what, who is, like we all look to someone, I'm very privileged to look up to our founding, um, our founding father of Living Proof, the brand I'm the global creative director for, Ward Stegerhoek. I, I look at the way he works, his work ethic and, and, how he continues to land covers of major magazines every month, Vogue, Cosmo, Italia, all of them. Who Who is your biggest inspiration? Uh, maybe it's gonna sound cliche again, but um, first of all, I say Jackson Pollock because I take it very personal. Yeah. And I love his techniques and how hard they give, like in those years in the 40s, they give him a hard time because nobody else believed in his art. And he right. never give up. He never give up. And he try and he try different dimensions to create his art. And he never give up. And sometimes if we have like a super weak mentality, we want to give up. So I'm like, he's part of, and I think it shows a little bit in most of my work. Like, yeah. I know he was an alco alcoholic. I'm not to that <laughs> level yet. But <laughs> as, as we're finishing whiskey or uh, vodka. I'm, and I'm, I'm trying to be nice because a lot of my friends are watching. <laughs> But um, yeah, and also he have a bipolar disorder, like a lot of people know. And yeah. he turned down him a lot of times with his paintings until, until he created this splash technique. So yeah. I'm like, if he couldn't make it and nobody is believe in his art, why yeah. not I can't inspire about him? Yeah. I, I, think it's, I think Jackson Pollock is a perfect choice for inspiration. One of my favorite loves of my life Martin Baran, an artist, was heavily influenced by Jackson Pollock as well. Yes. So I, I know the love, I know the passion. As a matter of fact, all of my walls were splattered like Jackson Pollock at one point in celebration so of that. With my clothes though, but the first time that I saw his painting in Dallas, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, and I a mean, lot of people like, I like that, it's full of splashes, I can do that. If you can do that, don't try <laughs> you you can do it and you let yourself do it which i think yes. is the beauty of it and, and well, it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy at all not to do it well no <laughs> otherwise it looks like a drop cloth from your painting houses so you yep. see i have a fun little question for you i change it a little bit for each of my guests for you it's going to be i shadow color and so what i want to ask you is let's say i have a makeup brand and i come to you and i ask you to create an eyeshadow for it for us and we'll say it's your we'll we'll let them know what the color is or we'll give them the color and the name will be you get to name it by isandro so let's see what is that color going to be and what would you name it well, I like I orange. <laughs> I love orange. Yes. Okay. I love nice. orange. I don't know why, but I'm not going to call. I'm not, it's not going to be an orange eyeshadow. So I think okay. I, would, uh, be, I have to write it early because I forget a lot of stuff. And it can be in Spanish because you have many more words in Spanish than English. Yeah, Spanish, more than English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spanish has like 50 words. We have five. <laughs> yeah, totally. And maybe I speak better in Spanish too. I'm sorry for everybody that we don't know the titles. No, but, <laughs> no, but actually, I, I would name it. Uh, it would be a gold orange. I wanted something okay. kind of gold orange, like okay. uh, with shimmery, and I will call um, tropical paradise because I so, moved from Florida. Okay, I moved from Florida to here, so I'm like, uh -huh. why not? 
And I'm in Central Valencia. This is a funny thing. So a lot of people know me as Valencia. So yeah. when I got here, they were like, are you Valencia like the oranges from Florida? Ah. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not that juicy. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm feeling with my marketing brain, I'm feeling like juicy Valencia. Valencia. Just like the eyeshadow, yeah. yeah. So I was trying to bring like the storyline of how, why I will be named the eyeshadow, like Tropical Paradise. And it will be gold orange with like a shimmery gold orange. I love it. And first of all, you're like, you're Valencia like the oranges. And I'm like, I don't know what they're talking uh, about. Yeah. But I, I go for Florida, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Well, this has been one of my favorite interviews. Uh, we just really flowed. I, I thought it was so fun. Such a good conversation. So Actually, I think I'm still, and I don't know why I'm here by myself in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've done an amazing job. I'm just going to, you know, give you one last chance to speak to all your friends and family and followers and fans who are watching and to speak as a Naha nominee and just to um, to share with us any last words and also just tell us what is it meant to you uh, to be nominated and to win a Naha? You know what, it's, it's the most amazing feeling like this year I took it very personal that I cry. Like I have, I went through so much to do those three photos that I cry. Like it's so emotional in the feeling. Yeah, good cry. I'm like, I have to pay Vegas now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, it's a great feeling. And it's those years were like, I'm proud of. Like after years, like they, they were paid off. So yeah. I never give up. Maybe if I could have stopped in 2015, I never could have been nominated for 2016 and maybe give that win. I always try and I always try my, my best to be creative and size the size the first nominate I mean I am entries I'm like I have to be better in every um aspect to step up and get the nomination and it's a hard work it's not just to put as splashes and throw pain in my body it is hard and I just wish people understand all the hard work that we create behind a photo so and never give up and try and try and if I fail I like if I was a failure but then I make like those mistakes that I did, I yeah. call it them, and voila, I'm nominated again. And plus you guys, uh, North America Hairstyle and Awards and Pro Beauty, um, it's amazing that give us this platform and let us show um, and showcase uh, our artistry. So that's amazing support from you guys. And don't stop because the entrants are thousands and thousands. And I feel, I'm, I'm not gonna say lucky, I feel blessed that I got the nomination and it's fun. Plus it's fun. Yeah. My shower <laughs> almost got plugged after those photos, but I can imagine. after, after the nomination, I'm like, I don't care about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like my garage was yeah. insanely a mess. It looked like a hooker place, like a cheap hooker place from Vegas. Ah. It was so much paint and glitter, but everything's worth it. And I'm so proud about it. And, the photographer, uh, Hunter Douglas, did an amazing job. So to me, it's not just the credit for myself. It's for the people that help me around and with all this stuff. So it's their job, too. Isidro, thank you so much for this incredible interview. Thank you for your no, passion, thank you. for your commitment to the process and to awards. Um, and we wish you the best. We know you will keep going because you've got the creativity in your heart. And in I will your be mind. 80 and I will be entering. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there. I'll interview yes. you again. Yes. Isidro, thank you so much. Thank you for so much for being on the show. Well, thank you so much. And you I will buy the drink. Artist. Everyone agrees. Thank you to everyone for watching. Remember, our next big event is March 14th and 16th. ISSE is a virtual event. I gave away my free $5 discount. It's only $25 to begin with. You're going to see incredible work by so all cool. these artists. 
So make sure you're there so that your work will be everywhere forever in our artistic work. And I gave my code MSC5. Buy your tickets today. Get that code. Isidro, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you soon. Fingers yeah, crossed. Thank you so Good luck much. at yeah, the award. Thank you. And, and everybody I'll see you in Las Vegas. Vegas. I'll see you in Las Vegas with my ice yes. tea. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. And thank you to everyone for watching. We are the Creative Conversations for ProBeauty.org, and we'll see you next time.